Well, I'm here with Doug from Tonic Eyewear, and mate, in a second, I'm going to hit you up with some big questions about sunglasses. But firstly, can you tell me a bit about your resume? What have you been up to? Well, that's a damn good question, Pat. I've been in the industry for about 30 years now, uh, and before before I did uh, sunglasses, I used to manufacture industrial safety glasses as well. So, um, a little bit of a background there, and also. Um, you know, we started doing fishing glasses because uh, I had a guy ask me one day, why don't they make fishing glasses? So then I had to fly to Japan and uh, work over there and I met some really great people over there and I worked with some of the best mathematicians in optics in Japan and, uh, and they are really smart, they're really clever um, and I studied optics with them as well. So it's been a bit of a journey for me but it's a passion that I really love and I love doing optics. and. You know, in the designs of all these glasses, they're very specific. And, uh, you know, anybody that wears a pair of tonic will know that for themselves. In general terms, um, you know, a lot of full drivers and fishers will, will just go, oh, you know, $10 pair of servo sunnies or something like that. What do you think are the, the major differences between the, the big hitters that are going to cost you hundreds as opposed to your, your cheap servo ones? Well, if they get hot, you, you, with a plastic or polycarbonate lens, they expand and contract. They're not heat resistant, okay? And as we were saying about the CR39, that's heat resistant. You know, you can get a hot coupling and, and, and you've got it really hot to mark that lens. But if you do that to a polycarbonate, you just go straight through it, the coupling, straight through it. So expansion and contraction, and the lenses are, are normally pretty cheap. You press on them, they buckle in and out. So you can imagine the optics that you're going to get as well. And even some really good quality optics in, in plastic, as you can see, you know, we, we did the scratch test with this lens here. Um, when, you, when you go out, especially if you're in the salt, Pat, honestly, or up in the bush, just a bit of grit. Mm. And most people just use their shirt to clean up, you know. And after about three months, maybe even less, or four or five months, little tiny little scratches in the back of the lens, it's like looking through fog. Mm. Mm. Uh, really terrible. And people pay a lot of money. Huh? They pay three hundred dollars for some of the bigger brands, and they're just plastic. I wish I could get three hundred dollars for our glasses, especially out of that, you know. But at the end of the day, when you clean these with your shirt, they just get better. It's like almost like you're polishing them, you know, really. And the grit, you you, you know, you're just not going to ruin them. That probably makes sense for some of those guys because when people, you know, if they're selling a three hundred dollar, four hundred dollar um, plastic lens that scratches in five minutes, then uh, chances are you're probably going to buy another one if you don't actually understand that it is plastic, and uh, and uh, so you're just going to make the same mistake again. Well, at the four by four show, a girl came up to me. She had a, uh, a brand on her head, and uh, I showed her hand. She went, "Oh my God, you know, this is so clear." And I said, "No, stay clear." Not compared to what to compared to what you're wearing right now. I said, "How do you wear them?" She said, "Oh, you just sort of get used to it." I, I could never get used to that. I can't even stand a I can't even stand a, a dirty windscreen in my car. That's how optically fussy I am. But you know, but she bought a pair of ours, and she's just amazing. You know, she came back about two hours later and just thanked me again because she said, "I can't believe how good these really are." So, but yeah, plastic lenses. They have their advantages. They, they, you know, like you drop them on concrete, they're going to scratch, but they're not going to break. And and yep, yeah, ours can break, but I've dropped mine. Mine are three years old. Never dropped. I've never ever broken a pair of our glass lenses ever. And I'm pretty brutal on them. And if you see what I do at the shows, a scratch test with ours with a key, probably you know for the last three years, so forth, just scratch tests with the key a thousand times, and they're still like brand new. At the end of the day. These things are resilient. Well, wait, bouncing over corrugations or something too when they're sitting in the in the centre console. Yeah, there's this. Uh, I've had that many that just yeah simply scratch like mad, and I know that it's just because I don't put them in their protective bag all the time. You just you just drop them and do your job, and then pick them up again. And yeah, when you look at them, they're they're useless. <laughs> we supply a case, a hard case, a soft case that you put them in. Personally, I've never used one. I don't know why we give them. You don't need one with these. These are that tough, they're incredible. Uh, to explain a little bit about the optics in this, we've got an anti-reflective coating on the back surface here. That reduces any bounce back coming off the sunlight into the back of the lens and back onto your pupil. 
normally with a, without an anti-reflective coating, you'll see your pupil in the back of that lens, reflecting back. So it's really important that we put an AR coat or anti-reflective coating on the back surface. This lens is also 1.7 mil thin. It's the thinnest glass lens in Australia. There's nobody that does a 1.7. And that's why they're so light and it's crown corning. So optically, it's, it's a proper optical glass that we use in our lenses. And there's two pieces of glass to make one lens. So there's four pieces of glass in one pair of sunglasses. Then we use what we call nanofilm. And nanofilm is the thinnest and clearest film on the world market today. A lot of people put lots of layers in their lenses. We don't. It's like a good pizza, really. What we do here, the less is better. And you can imagine, Pat, if you're looking, if you're looking through a lens with all these different layers, it's just harder to see through. So we, we, we spend a lot of money on the film and we put the best film in here and then we coat the lenses and we put the mirror behind the glass so you'll never scratch it off, okay? So this is all double, lab, double laminated. This lens is also decentered. So I'll explain a little bit about decentration in a lens for you. And um, we can probably see that here. There's a mark here. So you would think that's the centre. Our centre's on the side here, mm -hmm. just to sort of roughly show you. Yeah. So the reason we do this is that because once you do a, a, an eight base or wrap around glasses, you wrap them around your head. Normally the centre here, you'd be looking out here, but we move this 22 off the datum here or the centre and we move it here in front of your eye so you can see the true depth and the true distance. You don't lose your footing where sometimes when you, you'll get a bit of prism out of a lens, well, here you'll never get prism out of a peritonics. So essentially there's a whole lot of sunglasses out there where you just, yeah, you're genuinely not seeing clear or um, yeah, you're just not focused. You don't know what you're buying. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's really important that, you know, I would never buy a non-polarised lens because a non-polarising lens the general terminology, it just makes it darker, but it never cuts clear. And these are the best type of product. This is a photochromic lens, but we'll go into that. The best product, this is the best sort of product for driving the car. You can read the traffic, you can see through every car window. You're also like, you know, allowing you to read the traffic and that, but also most importantly as well, in the rain, wear tonics in the rain. You will see better than ever because in every raindrop, there's a million particles of scatter glare. And another reason we don't like a dark, dark lens because what happens is that this is where you get fatigue. If you've got a dark lens, a non-polarised lens, and even a dark lens, even a dark polarised lens, your eyes will dilate to the maximum point, okay? Fighting to look through that, that lens, and that will give you a bit of fatigue. So our lenses are very suitable for, you know, when you're driving up through the bush and, you know, four-wheel driving. We've got some incredible lenses as well. Like here, this is a neon lens. This lens is here. It's lets in 33% light. It's an incredible, you know, if you're a fly fisherman or you want to drive in the rain all the time, truck drivers and, and all sorts of things, have a look at that. Jeez, that is light. It, it genuinely, like, barely sits on your nose. So <laughs> I'm not used to yeah, that. Yeah. That is incredible. Makes a big difference. A lot of people ask me, are they plastic? You know, in, because of the weight. But the glass is just an amazing... Uh, you know, to do 1.7. And again, it really is a very strong lens. And I don't deny the fact that if you drop them on a rock, you can put a big chip in them and crack them. But at the end of the day, we, we can do it. We've got a replacement policy set in place that we can help you out with uh, and fix our glasses and get, them back, get you back on track quite quick. What about people with uh, prescription uh, glasses? Sure, we do. We do prescriptions. Um, I'd like to sort of explain a little bit for you before we go into prescriptions. But... This is uh, two, two lenses here. This is a photochromic lens. So all day long from dawn to dusk, you can drive, you can walk, you can do whatever, and it's UV activated. So it changes with the prevailing light. So what happens is that the brighter the sun, the darker the lens, okay? And the same with our gray lens. This is a beautiful lens to look through. This has got a two color integrated. That's got a four color integrated filter, quite, quite unique. Uh, the depth and the color saturation you get out of these lenses is remarkable. Uh, normally a grey flattens lens out, but this has got a uh, aqua splitter in it, so it sort of gives you a bit of definition and not flatten colours out with our grey lens and also photochromic. So beautiful lens to drive with all day long. Aqua splitter, photochromic lens. <laughs> How long does it take you just on average to actually design one, you know, a, a new pair? Um, well, I'll put in 
nearly two years to, to get these lenses to go. So it was a, a challenge, I can, I'll can say that. A lens like this takes you a long time to put together and um, when you work with some of the best mathematicians, and I wanted something special. So when the consumer tried our glasses on, he would really see what he was missing because the optics in this is probably, and you know, as far as a brand goes, Tonic, I, it's not about the brand, it's about the optics for me that the consumer really, you know, what they pay for is what they'll get. Mm. You know, they're certainly not paying for a brand that doesn't perform, they're paying for a product that's going to work for them all day, every day. Yeah. And that's, that's really what it's all about. And we do, you know, a variety of, of styles and so forth. You know, we've, we've got a, you know, metal frame here. This is beautiful. It's silicon pads, spring hinges. Um, you know, we do a couple of assortments in colours. Uh, you know, ladies frame here, beautiful. It's, this is, you know, all handmade acetate, uh, photochromic copper lens in it. Uh, we shoot the wire down the temples. Beautifully balanced and quite a fashion statement for uh, any lady. You know, we do only a couple of small styles. Here's another style here. You know, a full eight base curve wrap around for a, a woman, and quite popular. Um, you know, for keeping dust out and so forth, especially for driving. And in terms of the lenses, mate. So obviously you're you're doing the design and, and specifications for for every set here, but the actual lenses, um, where are they they made? All made in Japan. Um, uh, like I design them and develop them, uh, I help them with the development over there in Japan and they produce them, manufacture them and we get them out from here, in this factory here. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. So, you know, but it's all well, every pair is well balanced and uh, all made in Japan, so it's, the quality is quite good. We've got a couple of new styles here coming out. You know, this is a new model here. Uh, that's taken a bit, probably about 10 months now with this COVID going on, the pandemic. Yeah, brilliant. But uh, that's coming out and we've got another one here, big, you know, biggish one here for, you know, big buff heads. That's it, big buff heads like mine, hey, mate? So. Oh, come on, Pat. <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you need a slimmer one here to fit you. Uh, nice one. They all, they're Jeez, all they're very comfy. They're comfy, yes. That's the whole thing, see, Pat? We, do, we don't just produce it. We get them here, we, we test them, we make sure they fit right on different noses. You know, we've, we do something pretty special here. Okay, so for this one here, we've got different bridge sizes for different people for their nose. But if you've really got a wide bridge, that, that is fantastic. Or a high bridge, because anybody with a high bridge, they would normally be looking beneath their glasses. Mm. And even with a wide bridge, still looking beneath the glass. But you put this on, and it normally here, and we proved that at the 4x4 show in Melbourne. Uh, I had uh, about four different gentlemen that come up to me and said, you, I don't think you can help me out. And I said, I can, because I know exactly what you're talking about. Try them on, and they oh, Jesus. So it was really good, you know, that we know that we can supply 99% of the people out there, whether a big head, small head or wide bridge nose and so forth. But, um, and prescriptions. Can we get, get onto those? Um, we start off with a fairly thick lens like that, and we do single vision, distance only, uh, bifocal, so reading segs, D segs, and we also do multifocal. We do an array of different lenses. We can do mirrored coatings on them. Uh, this is not glass. This is uh, what we call CR39. It's a Colombian resin. It's not polycarbonate. Polycarbonate's soft, it has aberration, it expands and contracts. This is a very stable product. So we can do all that with AA anti-reflective coating on the back surface, which all tonics come out with that. We can mirror them. Uh, we can do all sorts of things with these lenses. It's a simple process. Uh, you just need to contact us, send us your prescription, and uh, we'll liaise between the person, the, the, the customer and ourselves and uh, we'll make them the best pair of sunglasses in prescription they've ever worn. Believe me, they will be very impressed in what we give them. It's a, it, our, our workmanship is incredible. It's all made here. That's made here locally in Australia. Um, and I can guarantee that they won't be disappointed. Okay, so the, you, the, so the, the, the larger lens comes out and you guys grind it down to the we, magnification that they need. We'll generate the lens down as you can see in here, right, right. we'll generate the lens down here and we'll just keep going until we, we'll build the power into that prescription for you. Right, right. You know, we generate it down here. We use what we call a high index. 
and we generate the lens right down as thin as we possibly can get it for the customer and uh, you know like it's just a normal thing that we do every on a day-to-day -day basis but we do do a lot of prescriptions. Well, Doug, mate, it has been uh, very enlightening chatting to you, mate. I, I now have a far better appreciation between uh, yeah your uh, your cheap sunnies and, and the good stuff. And uh, mate, I'm I'm looking forward to wearing these this season as I run around the countryside. Um, my only concern is if I better not uh, I better make a damn good show because, mate, uh, I reckon you could have your own show. The way you can talk about this, the passion that I'm seeing coming out of you with uh, sunglasses, it's awesome. Yeah, and uh, wonderful collection you've got there. Well we'll just keep building on the brand and keep building on the styles and make sure that you know like I say we've got a couple of models coming out but uh, yeah and you are right I do this I just do this for the love of it I really do it's uh, you know pretty special to me mm. so yeah but I appreciate your time Pat it's been it's been good of you to come out and have a chat to me at least. No absolute pleasure mate uh, thanks so much for the uh, sunglass lesson mate. <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you.